So to make this hair spray, you're going to need your clothes. This is how clothes look in case you haven't seen them before. Clothes actually help with your hair and your scalp. They help with dandruff. They help stimulate hair growth. They help make the give the hair very nice luster. They are just very nice and beneficial for the hair. And then we're also going to be adding rosemary and this is a personal preference this is how i like this spray you can decide to use only the cloves if that's what you have available you can add rosemary if you're extra like me rosemary has amazing benefits for hair so I added that for an extra boost So the process of making this is pretty easy. I'm going to grab the clove and the rosemary and then I'm going to add boiling water into it and then I'm going to leave it to sit for some hours. I didn't leave it overnight, I just left it for some hours so that it can infuse the nutrients from the clove, can infuse into the water and the nutrients from the rosemary can infuse into the water. You can leave it overnight as well. So I'm just going to add hot water and then cover it and keep aside. After some time, I'm going to grab it and uncover and this is how it looks. You can see that the color of the water has changed because more of the cloves have infused into the water, also the rosemary. And after this step, the next thing to do is to go ahead and sieve your rose water, rosemary water and the clove water. Now guys, this is very beneficial for the hair. You can use this when your hair is out. You can use this on natural hair. You can use this on relaxed hair. You can use this on text-laxed hair. <laughs> you can use this when your hair is in braids, like my hair is in braids right now. You can use this when your hair is in braids, cornrows, whatever protective style you have, you can use this spray. And you should make this spray in small batches to ensure freshness and you can also store it in your freezer in your ice cube tray so that it can last longer then when you're done um, you know you should sieve it like I'm doing here so that you don't have the particles in your hair I didn't use a cheesecloth so you will notice that there are some particles but then I allowed it to sit for a while and then I just used the top layer I didn't add the particles on that so yeah guys i hope that you try out this spray this spray is one of my favorites i have a lot of hair sprays and things that i use on my hair and i like to share with you guys and this is one of my personal favorites for good reasons so yeah after sieving it out the next thing is to transfer into our spray bottle of course and i'm using a funnel to help me so that there's no mess and that's it guys it has such a rich color and also cloves have a very peculiar smell 
um i don't know if it's going to be to everybody's taste but i don't mind the smell and of course with sprays you can personalize it you just need to know the main thing you can personalize this um diy hair growth spray you can add essential oils to it if you like to alter the smell or for added benefits but just know that this is the basic way to do it so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something i hope you're going to try it out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and of course i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye